city skyline or sea view? Sea view. A coffee on the patio or a drink by the pool? Coffee on the patio. Who is that one Bollywood actor or actress who you think can slay in any outfit? Shri Devi, Aishwarya. What about Shah Rukh Khan's house? Which direction is that in? Similar, going east and then going uh, right. If you're wondering where I am today, well, I am amidst all the glitz and glamour that this city has to offer. This neighbourhood is posh, it's peppy and I'm sure most Bollywood actors have Pali Hill address on their passports. This is one cosmopolitan area in Mumbai where you can truly be starstruck. But there's something more this place has to offer. Come along. I am at Asha Navroz, an ultra-luxurious project in Pali Hill. It is one-of-a-kind visual extravagance that truly defines timeless luxury. It is completely stone-cladded and has customizable columnless floor plates. And here I am meeting one of India's popular fashion designers who has won four national awards, has done over 350 films and has served 10 lakh plus customers. On this episode of Timeless Talks, I am meeting the popular fashion designer, Neeta Lulla. It's so wonderful to have you with us on Pearly Tales. And we are meeting at this place called Bandra, which is clearly a Bollywood hub. Do you come here often, Neeta? Oh, yes. This is, <laughs> this is precisely the Bollywood hub. And... Um, Everything is around here, so your shopping is here and your meeting with the actors is here. And um, also, I think uh, the place has an energy that it just attracts you to the site for its restaurants and, uh, you know, the beautiful um, shopping that you get. I'm very, very curious to know about your journey, Anita. I know you've been in the industry for over 35 years. But from what I hear and from what I have read, uh, you started off your journey with a single sewing machine and a karigal. Uh, how did, firstly, your love for fashion begin? So I never had a love for fashion. Oh. Let's just put it that <laughs> way first. Um, I studied fashion because uh, I was asked to do something instead of sitting at home. Because my journey began with uh, uh, me not wanting to study. So right. as all parents would say, um, you know, if you don't study, we'll get you married. So <laughs> I was like, I think I took them by surprise and I said, yes, get me married. So I got married at a very, very early age, at 16. And um, I thought I was very happy now the journey begins for me and not doing anything, partying, watching films. But it wasn't so because uh, um, the family that I got married into is a family of doctors. And they said, you have to pursue a career to keep yourself um you know, on the move and happy because at that point in time, I never understood what they meant. Yeah. But today, I feel it's a blessing in disguise and um, I decided to take up uh, um, fashion. How did that really, you know, pan out? Post my graduation, I ventured out into fashion choreography for almost two and a half years. I choreographed shows under the assistance of Jeannie Naroji. And um, I did about 21 shows where I choreographed and uh, she made me model as well. And um, so the journey began there. And um, somehow I was very happy doing fashion choreography because that was my calling. And um, in between the journey, uh, my one of my relatives was making a film and asked me to help out. And it's called Tamacha. Um, and uh, I agreed to help out on the film. And uh, the kind of clothes that I was into at that point in time were uh, very avant-garde, very um, edgy for that time. Immediately, I got calls from Juhi, from uh, Salma Aga, from uh, Swapna, the then um, big actors, and uh, Sri Devi. Yeah. So the journey began on then. Absolutely. And then tell me, for you, does fashion only restrict to clothes? Does it also extend to the place you live in? Do you take special interest in home decor or how you are, you know, putting things together in your house too, in so, terms of design um, elements? Fashion for me uh, does uh, um, 
go into your lifestyle as well. You know, it becomes a part of your living. True. So uh, whether it is home decor, whether it is even a simple uh, bedspread that uh, you've used, which looks beautiful, which feels comfortable, um, or uh, anything that is part of, you know, your living, yeah. which is beautiful and is something that you love to see is is fashion for me and what is your idea of a dream home my idea of a dream home is overlooking the sea and <laughs> um, a beautiful comfortable stylish um, home for me it's not about minimalism it is about exaggerated silhouettes it's about magnanimity wow. um, it's about uh, feeling the richness, so that's what it is. Yeah. Mita, you did mention that you like everything to be exaggerated and larger than life. What is that one piece of decor in your home or in any home that you think would accentuate the beauty of a space? I feel a beautiful library. Okay. I feel a beautiful space as a studio. So it's not one thing for me, it's, it's a, it's a um, mix of a lot of things that uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, I love. It is um, a beautiful chair. It is uh, probably the kind of trimmings that you put on your wall, which are uh, detailed. So the details that come into a home, yeah. is it kind of makes it complete. Absolutely. We're going to play a quick rapid fire round with you to understand your preferences. Yeah? Let's begin with this. I think I know the answer already for the first one, but city skyline or sea view? Sea view. Alright. Home theater or home office? Home office. Okay. A coffee on the pasture or a drink by the pool? Coffee on the pasture. Okay. We'll have that in just a bit. <laughs> Customized apartment or a bungalow? Uh, bungalow. Yeah? Yeah. Who was your favorite fashion designer? Azadin Alaya. Okay. Your favorite fashion brands? Um, Armani, Gucci, uh, Nita Lula. <laughs> yeah. Your favorite fashion magazine? Used to be Vogue. And today it's all about going on to the phone and checking, you know. <laughs> Instagram different and social media. Different magazines on the phone. Do you want to take a quick walk? Sure, let's go. Uh, Nita, let's talk about Bollywood. Now, what's your process of decoding a particular script and how do you decide on how you want to design the costumes for, your, for the star cast? Um, so you get the script, you um, discuss the script with the director, with a the narration. Yeah. Then you read your script, you rediscuss with the director, with the technicians, understand what uh, uh, you know the final product visually needs to look like. And um, then work on your sketches, work on um, the colors, uh, the color palette that you're looking at. Um, then you work on... Uh, designing details of accessories, jewelry, shoes, everything. And you kind of make a process in place of a visual. Right. And then you rediscuss it with all the technicians there. And um, then go forward with uh, procurements. Yeah. Uh, so sourcing of fabric, sourcing of jewelry, making of jewelry, uh, construction of garments. When you're working on characters, it's, uh, it's not about, uh, you know, getting your actors beforehand it's about get, getting your character sketch in place and then when you know your actors you understand their comfort level of what they like you know how they like the garment to look on them and then you go ahead with the construction which which would probably take another two months or something in the process of the six to eight months my god one never realized there's so much work that goes behind each and every element so kudos to you for all the hard work i really want to know which has been the hardest project of film that you've worked on till date a very special and especially challenging project that i feel was part of my entire journey was the recent film thalaivi Oh, okay. And who is that one Bollywood actor or actress who you think can slay in any outfit? Ah, <laughs> uh, quite a few of them. I would say Sri Devi for one used to be 
the all time favorite and yeah. my most beautiful uh, muse and actor um aishwarya um, can also uh, you know work wonders yeah. uh, shilpa shetty kangana yeah yeah so oh, okay. these are the some of the actors that i've worked with who i feel slayed in any outfit we're going to do a quick geographical check also now yep. that we are talking about travel tell me which way from here is mahim your house <laughs> from here it is uh this side um this way this way okay <laughs> what about shahrukh khan's house which direction is that it similar going east and then going uh, right oh bang on ah <laughs> okay the nearest neeta lula store uh at santa cruz which is the side not bad rekha ji's house uh close to shahrukh khan's house so okay this way and that way again <laughs> gulzar ji's house same place isn't no, it right here? here yeah it's just here <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amir Khan's house. Um, the side. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, I wouldn't know my direction is north south, but I know this and this. And this <laughs> so I'm kind of flying all over. Which floor we are on? Second. Not bad. Great presence of mind and great okay. sense of direction as well. Observation. <laughs> Absolutely. It has been wonderful talking to you. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us on Timeless Talks. Had a wonderful time talking to you all. Thank for you, Kamala. Thank you so much.